specifically 440.35 tells us that the ampacity of the conductors supplying multimotor combination load equipment, which our air conditioning equipment is, it has to meet a manufacturer's marking on the equipment in accordance with 440.4B. Okay, so let's walk through a couple examples. So on this tag, it tells us maximum fuse 25, maximum circuit breaker 25. So the tag has to say fuse or circuit breaker, or it can say both, meaning you can use either. So on this particular tag, we'd be able to use either a fuse or a circuit breaker. It tells us that the minimum circuit ampacity is 15.1 amps. So if we go over to our table 31016 and we look at a number 14, that a number 14 is able to carry 20 amps. So a number 14 would be acceptable for that installation for our minimum circuit ampacity. Okay, let's look at an example of another tag. So on this particular tag, it tells us maximum fuse slash breaker. So you can use either or, and it tells us it's 45. And another note to bring up here, you can put in less than 45 if you want to, and it meets the manufacturer's requirements, but it just cannot be more than 45. So the maximum is 45. You can go less as long as the unit's not going to trip out. It tells us minimum circuit ampacity on this unit is 28 amps. So let's go over to our chart and see what our minimum circuit ampacity is based on 31016. So based on table 31016, we see that a number 12 would only be able to handle 25 amps. So we would have to go with a number 10 and a number 10 in the 70C column would be 35 amps. So that would be plenty for this installation. NEC 440.14 talks about our disconnect. The disconnect has to be located within sight of the unit. And also something that's sometimes been a gray area as far as the disconnect, it does have to meet the requirements of 11026. Now from the disconnect to the unit, the code allows some type of a flexible conduit, like a liquid type flexible conduit. But an EGC, equipment grounded conductor, always has to be provided because according to 250.118, they want an EGC of the wire type provided for any equipment that has vibration issues so that there's a solid fault path back from the unit to the disconnect back to the source. Now the class two conductor that goes from the furnace to the contactor and the AC condenser, as you see in this photo here, can be run and strapped to the seal tight that's going to the unit itself. One of the violations that I run across a lot, and I think that electricians think it's okay, is to run that class two with the power conductors. But if you look at 725.136 of the NEC, it tells you that you cannot run class two conductors with power conductors. And I know as an electrician, I thought that that was okay. You have to follow the separation requirements or not run it in there at all. 